best known for his decade-long collaboration with Justin Timberlake. Choreographer Marty Kadelka has become one of the most sought-after talents in the industry. He has created iconic dance pieces for the biggest names in music, including Mariah Carey, Jennifer Lopez, and Pink, and even the one and only Janet Jackson. A three-time nominee and winner of the MTV Video Music Award for Best Choreography, he's an inspiration to an entire generation of dancers, and we are so happy to have him with us today. My name is Galen Hooks, I am your host. Marty, it's so good to see you. You too. How Thanks you for having me. I'm cool. So um, it's 1999 and you're 24 years old and you come to LA with $1,200 in your pocket. You only plan yeah. to stay for two months. Yes. It's a decade later, you're still here. What, I know. What happened? Yeah, what happened? It all flies by. Happen? So in 99, I'm 24, came out here to LA and said, gave myself two months. And I really thought, like, I'm going to come back to Dallas. I'm going to come here, get more experience, maybe come back at a later date. So I came out here, started auditioning as a dancer just to try to, you know, I knew I couldn't just come here and say, I'm a choreographer, like, where are my jobs? I'm really good, trust me. <laughs> so I started auditioning as a dancer for different choreographers, random jobs here and there, and booked my first job was for Tyrese actually which was at the time like the coolest thing on earth i was like yeah okay cool um and that was about a month or so in i guess three weeks to a month did this one job with him um then that led to another job and another show and this and that and still before two months so about seven weeks in i have a, a week left before i'm gonna go home and i told the choreographer well hey good meeting you good working with you here's my number in dallas he looked at me kind of crazy and like, well, where are, you, where are you going? I'm like, I'm moving back home. And I was just here for two months. And he was like, well, you're leaving on tour. Like in two weeks, you're going to go overseas. You have a passport. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why wasn't I told this? It was just kind of very like matter of fact kind of thing. And here we are. Like, wow. A long time later, like 12 years. 11 months after you moved here, you were co-choreographing Janet's All For You tour. You were nominated for an MTV VMA. How did that transition happen? That's pretty... That's pretty insane. Yeah. Um, so I was in a rehearsal actually doing a job that Seanette Heard, who later became my choreography partner, and Gil Dozalau were choreographing together um, for an artist whose name was Coco Lee. Again, I'm only dancing, you know, it was me and one other dancer, and Seanette kind of came up to me and was like, what are you doing? And I was like, well, I'm, I gotta teach class later, so I'm just kind of going over my stuff, is everything cool? And then she said, yeah, I just didn't know you choreographed or whatever, I was like, yeah, that's kind of, you know, what I wanna do, you know, whatever, and oh, so it started di dialogue up. That's how she kind of found out, you know, mm -hmm. that I did choreograph. So like two days later, I get a phone call and it's Janet Jackson calling what? me yes i was tripping so i'm driving down the 101 north and i'm going and hey marty you know in her little soft voice and like so i'm i'm here with shawnette and she told me about you and hey, you're really talented i saw some of the stuff that you know what you guys did or or what or something i guess the job that i was dancing for mm -hmm. shawnette and i think you're really talented and i'm coming out with some new stuff and and would you be interested in like choreographing you know you and shawnette I'm like pulling over on the side, like <laughs> the shoulder of the 101, trying not to wreck my car. And like, I just, I, it was unreal, like super j surreal. Well, since working with Janet, you've gone on to work with another amazing artist, Justin Timberlake. I mean, your choreography for him has really inspired a lot of people to dance, especially guys that I've talked to that are dancers now. They're, they, they've said that those videos that you did, like I Love You, Even My mm -hmm. Love Most Recently, or Rock Your Body, those videos, especially for male dancers, gave them some kind of like, man, that, that's actually cool stuff and I want to be a dancer. How did you even get hooked up with Justin in the first place? Towards the end of this tour that we did for Janet, which by this point is like end of 2001, beginning of 2002, somewhere around there, um, I get a call. We we're actually in LA, I was at my hotel and I, get a call from NSYNC's tour manager, this guy named Dave Brown. I love you, Dave Brown, you're the best. <laughs> and he uh, calls me, he's like, hey, this is NSYNC's tour manager, Dave Brown. I, um, Justin wants to get on the phone with you to talk about possibly working together for NSYNC. And I hung up on him. Uh, so I'm thinking it was like, you know, there's a bunch of pranks on tour, this and that. And I'm like, another call, like, I'm sorry, is this Marty? Yeah, who is this? Blah, blah, Same thing happened. I hung up again, like, okay, quit <laughs> calling me. 
I just think it's a joke. So I don't even call my agent or do any of that Hollywood stuff. Somehow or another, he knew somebody that was on the road with us. Told me like, hey, this guy's really trying to get a hold of you. You know, whatever. I don't know how we got on the phone, but he said, I'm, I did a song. We did a song with Pharrell called Girlfriend. It's a little bit more urban. I think you'll like it. We did uh, the Grammys, all in this one song, whatever. But all through all this, I'm like, this, they're all talented, but this dude is special. Two months later, I think, he called me and like, hey, I think I'm going to do like a, a solo record. And like, I want you, you know, to help me out. Are you down? I'm like, of course, yeah. Do you happen to have a favorite piece that you did with him? Uh, I'm really bad at that. I, I think the most current thing that we did was uh, 2007 Future Sex Love Sounds Tour. Co-directed it with Justin and myself, choreographed it, danced in it, so I had a lot of hats. <laughs> so I, I uh, putting that together and being able to sit back and like I let our swing do the first show. So I got to oh. sit in the audience and watch and see what worked and what didn't was it's equivalent to having a kid, honest <laughs> to God, like the good and the bad and the you can't help your emotions. And I probably cried like three times in the first like 10 oh, minutes Marty. because of all the positives like, yeah, yeah, I'm wanting a high five. You don't know me, good. <laughs> oh shit, and this is awesome. And it's like a kid, you know, and, until the first gag doesn't work. And then you're oh. like, okay, note to self, take that out tomorrow uh -huh. or you know <laughs> maybe change it a little bit but yeah it's it's not one performance but as one job that definitely was like the most f fulfilling I would say cool that's amazing you that cried was, yeah a oh. bunch like people that, around you're like this guy really likes Justin <laughs> yeah like who is this guy with the earplug in crying I have no idea that's amazing. well you have you have a really great outlook on your career and on the industry and you seem very content and thankful for everything. What are some of the tougher things you've had to deal with in life? Well, I never had my first drink ever of alcohol till I was 29 years old Wow! in my entire life because I was the most responsible guy, always making sure my friends uh -huh. who did it enough for me, I was making sure everybody <laughs> was cool, this and that. But then, you know, like I dibbled and dabbled in that because it is, you are living like a surreal life. You're on tour, you're on this, you're on that. So my personal life at, at one point, became like, oh, like I, was, I wasn't doing the kind of work that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I was convincing myself like, oh, I can still go out and party and, you know, and still show up and do my job. But oh. I wasn't, I felt like once I look back at it that I wasn't doing my job to what I'm capable of, the way I'm capable of doing it. Hmm. Was there a low point that just made you go, I gotta get my stuff together? I think it's just kind of realizing everyone around you and like, when people that look up to you question certain things about you, you know, oh. and you're teaching them like, this is the way to do things or this and that, to have those kind of people that you mentor and, and you know you've had been responsible of, of helping them grow up, then to have those people question you is, is kind of awful. Hmm. Like, what are you, like kind of, <laughs> you know, it never got confrontational or like, don't tell me what this or that, but to have that conversation with those kind of people and then leave and by yourself go, oh, shoot, they might be right. That sucks. That's like a really low point Wow. for anyone. Wow. Yeah. Well, you overcame it. That's, and that's right. That's all that matters because now you're here. That's right. Yeah. yeah. A lot of young choreographers are very highly influenced by you. How do you feel about that? Are you flattered by it? Do you, does it bother you? I think being influenced by my style or someone else's style is, it's gonna happen. Um, but as far as like, I've had people rip off stuff before where they would teach. I've seen it, like two eight counts of my choreography in their choreography or teach an entire combo. What? Yeah. Like, but in, it's happened in different states. What would you so, do today if you saw somebody teaching your stuff? Uh, no comment. <laughs> yeah, we'd have so a- So just don't do it. We okay? would, yeah, we would definitely have a, we would definitely speak. 
Wow. For sure. Speak. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you a question. We had a conversation about this. When you, when you The last time you choreographed on So You Think You Can Dance, Lady Gaga mm -hmm. was the judge. She said that lyrical hip hop can feel dated sometimes, and a lot of people felt that she meant your routine felt dated. Right. But when we talked about it, what I loved is you couldn't care less what she thought. I mean, it's it. you really don't care what anybody thinks. Who Whose opinion does matter to you? Um. I mean, I guess as far as choreography, my, like myself, if it's for a dance piece like that, you know what I mean? There's so many other variables um, and nothing against her as far as not caring, but really it's, I could pick it apart by it's, it's not lyrical hip hop, we're getting into names, we're getting into this, we're getting into that. It's so many factors that you have no control over, but in something like that, with dancers and I was proud of like the, the two people who did the routine. I was super stoked at how they performed it and mastered it and it, I was happy. So that's all that matters at the end of the day. I never even took that to heart like she's talking to me and everyone around me did and everybody, you know, <laughs> I don't know, maybe a lot of people just want that drama, but I didn't see it that way. And, and if she has that opinion, she has that opinion. Mm -hmm. As far as if it's work and it's to do with an artist, or whatnot, then I care what they think. And then myself, if I'm happy with it, they are. At the end of the day, then that's all that matters mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, you have such a great philosophy. Even your philosophy with choreography, you're, you, it's like you say it's not brain surgery, it just comes naturally, you do what you feel. Yeah. What do you love about dance? I don't know, I really don't know. Whether it's in class, at a club, you know, on stage, whatever it is here today, <laughs> it, you know, I just love to dance. There's not a reason why. Mm -hmm. If there is, I don't want to know the answer, I guess. Ah. I just love it. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Marty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Marty. Thank you, Thank you guys for watching. That was so awesome. If there were any questions that I didn't get to that you have for Marty, you can post them below on this video. You can post them on Twitter. You can post them on Facebook. We'll be sure to get you some answers. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can stay up to date with all of us at D-Studio, all of our choreographers that we have here on the show. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.